Jan Letzel was a Czech architect and builder, born in Nakad in Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1880. Jan Letzel, baptized Jan Adolf, was an important promoter of Czech-Japanese relations. He built an exhibition hall in Hiroshima to promote the prefecture's industry. This hall was completed in April 1915 and named Hiroshima Prefectural Palace for product exhibitions. The formal opening to the public took place in August of that year. In 1921, the name was changed to Hiroshima Prefectural Palace for Economic Exhibitions, then again in 1933 to Hiroshima Prefectural Palace for the Promotion of Industry. Thirty years after its completion, this palace was at the epicenter of the explosion of the American atomic bomb on August 6, 1945. The palace was the closest building to the epicenter that remained standing after the explosion, although it was badly damaged. To this day, it is kept in the same condition it was in just after the explosion. It thus serves as a reminder of the destructiveness of nuclear weapons and as a symbol of hope for world peace without nuclear weapons. The torso survived, which is now known as the Atomic Dome, and which became part of UNESCO's cultural heritage as a peace memorial. Despite the proximity to the Genbaku Dome, this double monument is not associated directly with the atomic bombing. It is a monument to the children's writer Mikichi Suzuki, a native of Hiroshima, who died in 1936. It was erected in 1964 as a symbol of Hiroshima's return to normal life and overcoming post-atomic trauma. Between the museum and the A-bomb dome is the cenotaph for the A-bomb victims. The cenotaph is an arched tomb for those who died because of the bomb, either because of the initial blast or exposure to radiation. Below the arch is a stone chest holding a register of these names, of which there are over 220,000. Every year on the anniversary of the bomb, a ceremony is held at the park. Speeches are made, wreaths are laid at the cenotaph, and a moment of silence is observed at 8.15 a.m., the precise moment of detonation. Other activities occur throughout the day, and many staff are employed to help foreign visitors.